Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. In today's video, I'm going to be refreshing my hair and talking about some things that you guys recommended and answering some questions that you guys asked me. Because a little while ago, I asked you guys like any questions for Q&A or topics and you guys gave me some pretty good ones. So I'm going to be answering them while I refresh my hair. So first about my hair, I did my hair on Friday. Today is Monday and this wash and go is amazing. You know, I really do not have to refresh it but tomorrow I have school all day again and then I have volleyball a couple hours after school and I'm pretty sure my practice is going till 9 p.m. so by the time I get home like 45 minutes later I have no time to refresh my hair shower dry my hair all of that to still go to sleep at a decent time so I'm doing it tonight so my hair will be good after practice tomorrow then I don't have to refresh the next day and I don't have to wear my hair in a bun for the rest of the week so this is just like a precautionary measure throughout the week but if I'm being completely honest for this to be my my day four hair with how much volume and still definition that I have. I think this is a great wash and go. This is just a precautionary measure. So the products that I'll be using to refresh my hair today are the TGIN Rosewater Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner and then the TGIN Rosewater Curl Defining Styling Gel. I haven't used these products in literally forever and for my last wash and go I used the Camille Rose Curl Maker and then before that I had used the My L Moisture RX Moisture Butter in my hair so I don't want to use them again because I just want to use different products just because so I just went with the TGIN products so how I refresh my hair is different from when I style it so I'm going to be sectioning my hair like I always do and the one thing that's different with refreshing my hair and styling on day one is that I'm not using as much product I'm not using as much water and I'm kind of going a little faster and mainly focusing on the frizzy parts so the first question slash topic is about school and COVID and the lockdown and everything and how is that because I don't really post about that personally on my Instagram or I don't really talk about it on my YouTube either. You guys know I live in Florida and by knowing about government and stuff, you know that Florida is currently an open state. Florida is not closed and Florida was open when school started for me in August. And if the state is open, that means that schools are open. And most schools in Florida did provide an alternative option where you could do online, like hybrid or something. And in my county, they did provide that. But the way they provided it just wasn't going to work out with sports and stuff with my family. And it just wouldn't have work for me to do online again this school year, even though it's obviously like safer to stay in your home, it just would not have worked. So I am back to school so that's why I really haven't made any school related COVID school related content because I'm back at school I did my vlogs over from like March to June because that's when I was home that's when I was home all day and I was able to film vlogs but now I'm at school from 7 to 2 ish like I'm there for quite a while throughout my day so I don't have as much free time I'm not gonna vlog at school because definitely not doing that I do work in literally all my classes I do not have time <laughs> On my camera or just even on my phone like vlog like definitely not doing that and I also only talk to one to two people at school like I talk to the same two people and hang out with the same two people at school and that's literally it and if I did like an actual vlogmas where I was vlogging at school every day it would just be me with the same two people and it really wouldn't be vlogmas content it would be me hanging out with my only two friends at school and then, like I said I do work in my classes I don't have time to pull out my camera because literally my classes are loaded with work. So yeah, like COVID and lockdown and all that stuff, really nothing is different with my school at all. The only thing though that's like obviously different from last year's when I was in school is that masks are required. You always have to have your mask on above your nose and you have to social distance. If we can be six feet apart in a classroom, we will be. There's really nothing they can do. They can have us as spread out as they can, but you know. So someone asked me camera recommendations and traveling to talk about traveling. So for camera recommendations, 
foundations I really am not too sure because I am not that tech savvy like I'm pretty good with technology but cameras is like kind of out of my realm like I know some stuff about cameras but not too much so I have the Canon EOS M50 and I have the lens that came with the camera from when I bought it I really don't know which lens I have I think it's a 45 millimeter and it goes all the way down to an 18 millimeter it's an adjustable lens it's not just like one millimeter opening thing I really don't know what it's called sometimes I like to be more zoomed in sometimes I like to be more zoomed out it just depends on like what I'm doing like like in today's video I'm more zoomed in in yesterday's video I was more zoomed in I just like this because it's adjustable and I can pick and then with some lenses I know they're not adjustable like this one lens I'm looking at to invest in it's not adjustable and I'm like hmm it's not adjustable but the quality that this lens has is pretty amazing and then for camera recommendations, a lot of people, it's pretty popular to have the Canon EOS M50, also the Canon Mark II-6, the Mark something, something around that name. If you look up the Canon Mark Twain camera, it'll come up. It's like a small rectangle, like a vlogging camera. That's what a ton of people use. And the quality is really nice with that camera as well. I don't have that one because with some of the cameras, the quality is nice and I see other people using it and the quality is not that great. And I wanted a camera that's more about content creation, sit down videos and not vlogging to where I can adjust to a bunch of lighting because if I can figure out my settings and get good settings, then that's basically all I need. And look at how nice my curl definition is on my fur section. Another question is, what are your favorite products and where can I find them? So two videos ago was my favorite December favorites video where I showed you guys all of my current favorite products for the month of December. Of course, I've used more products than the ones I mentioned, but those are just like my top couple of favorites for the month of December. And I'll be doing more December favorites, but literally go check out that video because I just mentioned all of my favorites. Oh, this brush is stuck in my hair. What are your insecurities? Love you so much. So no one has ever asked me what my insecurities are. Um, I definitely have some. I'll tell you guys some of them. Definitely not all of them. They're gonna stay in my brain. Not really gonna say them out loud. But one of my insecurities, I guess you could call it like physical insecurity, would be probably like my body image. That's definitely one. Another one is sometimes my forehead because I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have a big forehead trust me I know and sometimes like most of the time I literally don't care and I never like feel insecure about it but sometimes I do and when I do it's just annoying another <laughs> physical insecurity would have to be my eyebrows now some of you are probably like hmm but my eyebrows are not even. They're naturally uneven. My eyebrows have been like this since I've been born. And as you guys can tell from my Instagram and my YouTube videos, you can see they're not even. This one is higher. This one is flatter. This has an arch and it just goes up more. It has a lot more hair. This one is just flat. There's no arch, not a lot of hair, a lot closer to my eyeball. So it makes my face look very non-symmetrical and it's always bothered me, but I'm getting like more adjusted to it to where I really don't care and I like my eyebrows but yeah that's one of them used to bother me a lot i would say my last physical insecurity that i'm going to say are my teeth the reason why my teeth are an insecurity are because they're not completely straight i've never had braces and i don't think i'm going to get braces because one it is so expensive my teeth like might not look that bad because you guys only see what I show and I know I'm like talking or whatever but like if I have a video and my teeth look bad or if I'm talking and like my teeth I feel like they look weird that just won't be in the video like I'll edit it out where I think my teeth look weird my teeth are not even like you might think they are because you really don't see like my mouth and my teeth look even but they're not my front teeth are a lot more forward I have a very big overbite then my two front teeth are not even either one is like longer than the other and it's literally 
not even half of a centimeter it's such a small difference but i noticed it and it was actually pointed out one time to me in middle school by someone and i swear i just like wanted to cry because i was so annoyed i was like how do you even notice that and then when i got like pointed out by someone i was just like oh feeling my teeth i was like yeah they're not even i don't think you guys can see but they're not even Another person gave me kind of a big section of just like multiple things. So, and it says, how do you feel about wearing a mask? How to deal with toxic relationships and your YouTube growth. So I am going to talk about that while I do this big section. How I do this section is kind of different, but I'll do the most talking when I'm doing this back section. And then I'll try and talk when my head is flipped over as well. So about like having to wear a mask, like I mentioned, I go to school, so I'm literally wearing a mask from seven something in the morning till two something in the afternoon. I think that's seven or eight hours, but I'm wearing a mask for a very long time and really not allowed to have it off besides when I'm eating, but like when I'm not eating, the mask has to be on. So I'm wearing a mask literally all day. I don't really complain about my mask. Sometimes it's hard for me to breathe. I have asthma and some people might think like, wow, that's nothing. But sometimes it is kind of hard to breathe because like I need, I breathe a lot. I'm a pretty heavy breather. I edit it out of my videos. But when I am taking a breath, it's a big breath because I need to like breathe a lot. And that's why I edit it out of my videos because it's loud. But yeah, so like sometimes it gets hard and I'm honestly not the most in shape person. Like I play volleyball and stuff, but I'm really not shape at seven in the morning when I get up. When I'm walking up those flights of stairs early in the morning, I'm like, whew, I'm kinda out of breath. But you know, mask has to stay on. It's better to be safe and I'll catch my breath eventually. other topic that this person gave me was how to deal with toxic relationships i really don't have a lot to say because just by following you with me you guys know i've only been in one relationship my entire life only ever been in one and i really don't have a lot to say but from what i've seen from people's experience online especially tiktok that's where i see like the most stuff about toxic crazy relationships is to try and get out of it as fast as you can you don't want to put Put yourself in a bad environment for as much time as you can help it like I know with some people they will be in a bad relationship with someone or it could even be a toxic friend relationship it doesn't have to be like a significant other kind of relationship but the faster you can leave will benefit you and how to deal with it there's really no way in dealing with it you just need to find a safe way to leave and then work on loving yourself so that's basically just how to deal with it i really don't have a lot to say because i don't really have experience personally i hope to never have that kind of experience personally and i hope no one else can so the next topic is my youtube growth so just an fyi i do this section with my head facing down but i'll still talk so my YouTube growth has literally been insane. I'm receiving so much love and likes and views and subscribers and comments. I love responding to you guys as your comments. I respond to every single one unless you have a creepy profile picture account name or if you comment something weird or inappropriate I will not respond because I'm 16. I don't need to be responding to a very weird or inappropriate comment. I just delete them because it's weird and inappropriate. So that has definitely been a part of my growth is responding and talking to you guys because I really enjoy talking to you guys and I help a lot of people when I'm responding to my comments because a lot of you guys have like questions that you need more of an in-depth answer, especially since I'm doing Vlogmas right now. Like I'm gaining 10 subscribers like per day. It's crazy. I hit 3,000 subscribers and I'm almost at 3,050 subscribers, which is like wow. And it's just going really nicely for me. Also, I never like publicly mentioned but i am monetized on youtube 
I think I did mention that I was monetized on my like public chat thing on my community posts on my YouTube channel, but not that many people actually like look at my community posts. So it's not like largely known, but yeah, I am now monetized on YouTube. I'm making money from YouTube now with the ads. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could watch the ads as long as possible but of course if you skip i still won't mind it just helps me out if you do watch the ads and i've been monetized for a couple of months i believe i officially became monetized in july or august Becoming monetized was just such a huge milestone for me personally because that was one of my biggest goals. Like once I started, I was like, I'm going to gain the requirements to be monetized. I'm going to get that huge milestone of revenue from YouTube. And I did it and I'm so proud of myself for that accomplishment. My schoolwork and my academic status will always come before YouTube or Instagram, no matter what. It always will because how I do academically will be there for life social media will not always be there and for me academically that is the most important thing for me if i do not have straight a's i will cry i just feel mentally defeated my goal always is straight a's and i only posted i, I think i'm giving myself like a leap i think i posted five or six videos in my first nine weeks of school and i did end with all a's so all of my hard work where I put school as my priority over YouTube did pay off because I had all A's, even in my AP classes. So yeah, my grades were really important to me and they're really important to me now. And I am so proud of myself for how well I'm doing with my grades and Vlogmas. I have all A's still right now. I knew it would be a challenge to where I'm filming every single day and editing every single day, but I've been able to get it done. I'm just very proud of myself. I just finished refreshing my hair. Now I'm gonna let my hair air dry for just a couple of minutes and then I'm going to diffuse because it is 8.28 at night and I have school tomorrow. Today is Monday. Monday, so yeah, I want to get as much sleep as I can. So I'm gonna air dry for like 15 minutes to fuse and I'll come back tomorrow to show you guys how my hair looks after a full day of school. This is how my hair looks the next day. So I slept on my hair and I had my hair down at school all day. And these are my results. You can see the definition is there. The volume is there. The moisture is there. And I still have volume, but from prior to my hair before refreshing, I did not have as much definition and moisture, but now it's back in my hair so this is how i refresh my hair i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below how you refresh your hair and make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram if you haven't already i'll see you guys next time bye